Hello everyone and welcome to my updated photo card collection haul. Haul? No, not a haul. <laughs> my photo card collection video. Um, yeah, so the last time I did one of these was at the end of December and I can't believe it's already the beginning of April. Um, yeah, that's nuts. So anyways, I did say that I would make these videos once every three months. Um, I probably won't be able to tell you what's new and what isn't, um, but that's fine. <laughs> um, you can probably just go back and watch the other video maybe side by side. I don't know. The binders probably won't even be in the same order, so that probably will not work. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, I did, however, just post a sorting photo cards video, but a few have come in since then, but it's not enough to film another one of those videos, but I want to include them in this update so as we get to those pages where the cards belong i'm just going to pop them in in this video so you kind of get an update as well as a sorting photo card video so i hope you enjoy that so up first we have my at's cix and one us binder um so yeah let's just get started so here we have at's first album i did collect everyone for this album um so yeah that was a fun process this has been complete for a while um and then we do have some of my bias postcards i've put every other postcard for all groups in a whole separate binder but i've kept my biases with their respected groups if that makes sense so here we go we have uh yosang and songha and then here we have their second album as you can see i want to collect everyone um and i'm not quite there yet i do have have Mingi's card to put away though so let's do that so here we go I'll just pop him in here done and there we go so yeah I only need three more cards for this collection and I will work on that um, hopefully soon um, for those who don't know I don't know how you don't know but the world is kind of falling apart right now so I'm um, not sure when that will be updated but there is that so next up again we have bias postcards we have group postcard and then we have their next album which is complete including my music taste cards and then I've just kept group cards and other extras at the back here I have both of Yosang's postcards and both of Song Hwa's. And then here again, their next album, I do have all cards, including my music taste. I know that this one is probably new because it took me five years to even find that card and um, finally have it now. So not five years actually, obviously, but you know what it is. Anyways, again, we have um, Yosang's postcards and then Song Hwa's. And then again, the next album, Complete. And we have the My Music Taste postcards for that. And then the next album, again, including My Music Taste, is complete. This one was actually a lot easier to complete than the previous one, or the one before the previous one. Um, again, we have postcards. And then here we have some Japanese photo cards. Now, um, I am missing the ones with the blue background, but they're so expensive and hard to find that I don't think... I will be um, collecting them. If I do, it'll be because I found their cards for cheap, but doubtful. So anyway, um, I do have this Yosan to put away though. So there he is. We can pop him in and put him away. There we go. So that page is complete as of right now. I mean, like I said, not going to focus on collecting those two blue background uh, Japanese photo cards, but if I do, I will let you know. Um, again, some postcards from the Japanese albums, and then we have their um, Seasons Greetings cards. I did not buy their Seasons Greetings, but I did buy their cards on Mercari. So there's that. Then we have a divider, and we move on to CIX. So their first album is complete. I collected everyone because each album came with three cards and I bought two sets, a regular set and a signed set from M-Wave. So that's why I was able to collect everyone and I actually pulled everyone. I didn't need to trade anything, which was crazy. Um, and then we have their next album and I am missing one of Sung Hoon's um, My Music Taste cards and it's like impossible to find at this point. So if I ever get it, I'll let you know, but I feel like that spot will be blank for a while. And then on the back, I do have one of BX's cards to put away. 
so here he is let me just get the white sleeve out which album is this though blue one okay so he needs to go here there we go i will pop him in like so and there we go so now i only need one more of bx's cards and then that collection will be kind of complete if we don't include the sungoon my music taste that i can't find but yeah um and then we have some japanese photo cards and i honestly oops wasn't planning on buying their japanese cards but like i saw that sungoon one and knew i needed it and then somebody was kind enough to send me bx's so there's that and i know they have a new japanese album coming out soon um, or a single, I'm not even sure what it is, but I know there's photo cards, so I don't know if I will continue with collecting their Japanese cards, we'll see. Um, and then we move on to One Us, so there we go, this is their first album, and I collect One Woo, and um, yeah, so that's complete. The second album is complete, and then we have the postcards as well. And then the most recent-ish, well no not really, their second most recent album is complete including my music taste which my friend so kindly gave me that card. And then here is where I have left space for their newest single album, um, what's it called again? In It's Time? Is that right? Anyway, I've ordered it from my music taste, um, it has shipped but it's in mail limbo right now so yeah, so that is the first finder um, and yeah we can move on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have my Monsta X binder, and this is probably one of my, my more um, complete collections. I did do a whole completing my Monsta X collection like a while ago. Um, so yeah, we can just look at that. So this is their first album here. I collect both Juhan and Kihyun for um, regular Korean album cards. So there we go. And then we have, um, what is this album called? Rush? <laughs> I suck with album names and you will learn that if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I'm not even going to say the album names. <laughs> um, so here we have the next one. Um, and then the next one. So yeah, everything is complete, which makes my heart so happy. Um, I'm also so glad that Juhan is healthy and coming back. Um, I know there's like a whole situation with Wano right now as well. His charges have been cleared, but it doesn't look like he's coming back for the next comeback. But, um... I'm not gonna say that that means he's not coming back at all. We will see, time will tell. So yeah, and then we have their postcards here, the next album, and then we have the stickers from that album. And then once we move into the code, I think the code was the first album for Monstax that I ever bought. Um, and yeah, there's a lot, they have a lot per, well, only two per member, but then there was like the, uh, what's it called? The unit shots as well. So there was that. And then the next album, and then Kihan's on the back, so this one definitely had more photo cards. Um, and then we have their postcards. And then we move on to, um, oh my god, this is why I'm not, what is this called? Are you there? Are you there? So yeah, we have Juhan plus his unit cards on the front. There was a lot of cards for me to collect for this album specifically. And then on the back we have Kihan and his unit cards, and then we have all of the um, random, I don't know, cards. And then I was actually lucky enough to pull all four group cards, so that's why they're all in there. And I collected all of their Polaroids as well. Um, and then the next album, we are here. Again, a lot of photo cards per member, but not a lot of unit cards this time. So here's Juhan's page. And then we have Kihan's page, as well as the one unit that I needed to collect, and then their special cards. And then here we go, we have the uh, different Polaroids again, as well as Juhan's American uh, version photo card. And then we have some Japanese stickers at the back that I didn't know what to do with. Um, I might move those eventually. Um, and then here we have Juhan's cards for a follow. And then on the back we have Ki Hyun's cards, as well as their standees and bookmarks. And then we have the G Market pre-order, was it pre-order? Or did it just come with anything? I don't remember, but you got a full set of all member photo cards from ordering from there. And then there was also the Kino member full set, which was very exciting. And then we have the Kino postcards. I've only kept Juhan and Kihan in this binder and then the rest are in my postcard binder. And then we move on to All About Love in which <laughs> I bought enough albums to be able to collect everyone because I bought, um, 
for the full four version set and they came with two photo cards each. So I think the only one I had to trade for was Minhyuk um, and I pulled everyone else. So that was nice. And then, so this is different from last time. I used to put each of the Japanese cards on their own page, depending on album, but it just takes up too much space. So I've decided to condense um, and we have a, a Juhan page here. So I am missing three of his Japanese photo cards, um, but I will work on that in the future. And then on the back, I don't think I'm gonna collect Kiyans. Um, I did collect those when I bought these two, um, but I don't think I will be buying his Japanese cards in the future. I will think about it. Um, and then we have the Tony Moly um, lip tint cards. And then we have some postcards from the Tony Moly collection as well. I do wanna find Kiyans to put in this slot. Um, and then we have the two took on page. So this was the first round of photo cards. And then this was the second round. I think there's been a third round, but I don't think Juhan had any because he was on hiatus. So um, if there are more, let me know, but I don't think so. And then similar to my NCT binder, which we will get to soon, um, I've decided to just make like a special page of things that are like non-album photo cards, I guess. Um, so these all used to be on their own individual pages, which is just, it took up too much room and it's a waste really. So um, I merged everything together. So we have a whole bunch of Juan special cards at the top. I do have one random Kihun special card, but I don't really collect his special things so much. I focus more on Juhan. Um, I only bought these because I thought they were so cute. Um, and then these are the postcards from that, from this one and this one. So yeah. And then I have um, Juhan season's greeting postcard from this year that my friend got for me as well as the calendar and then his photo card from the season's greeting is there as well so yeah there's that and then I have a postcard of his and then we have full member sets from their dvds so this is from the monstex world tour the connect dvd and then this is from the we are here dvd these are also from the, actually, I think this was from the Kino of the DVD. I honestly wasn't going to buy it. I never really do Kinos for uh, concert DVDs or DVDs in general, but it came with so much. <laughs> so I decided to just do it. Um, so there was all of that. We got the sticker set. And then this was from their season's greetings from 2019, I believe, as were these. And then here we have some confetti that I got at the concert last year. Um, and then up here we have photo cards from a Kihun and Minhyuk birthday cup sleeve event that I went to, as well as some Wano ones from a Wano cup sleeve event that I went to recently. And then on the back here, these were gifted to me by somebody who watches my videos, um, and they did a whole fan project for Juhan and offered to send me all of the photo cards that they created for it. So that was very kind of them and I'm so happy to have them. Um, so yeah, that was the Monsta X binder. Um, and yeah we can move on to the next one. So next up, I have my 17 Victon and Very Very binder to go through with you guys today, which is exciting. So first up, we have 17. Um, so this is their album Teenage. That's where I've started from. But I do think I want to go back and collect all of their older albums as well. Eventually, I just haven't gotten there yet. So I am missing one Woozy, but I am also still missing three versions of this album. The other two were sent to me or we traded, cross-traded. I can't remember. So um, yeah, missing one card but i still need three versions of the album so hopefully we pull it eventually i do have his little standee here um oh yeah i collect woozy for those who don't know um and then we have the sticker set we have um director's cut i'm telling you i'm terrible with album names um and back then this is the first album i ever bought from 17 actually and back then i used to collect both um uzi and mingao um but i have since stopped collecting him but because this collection was already complete um i kept him because i do love him a lot um and then we have uzi's postcard set and we also have mingao's um and then we have you make my day so i have all of uzi's cards here as well as his lenticulars i'm missing one i'm missing one lenticular um and then we have you made my dawn which i have all of his cards somebody was kind enough to send me the last one that i needed i can't remember which one it was this one or this one i think um but yeah so thank you so much for that it could have been this one actually i don't know i don't remember <laughs> um and then somebody actually gifted me this hmv card which is so kind thank you so much i love it um and then i am missing another lenticular here but i have this one and is that a lenticular yeah 
stack that one. And then we have his behind the scenes cards. Um, and then here we move on to an ode, which was nuts. Um, so this was the begin version. And then we have the poet version. We have the hope version, which I'm missing the sticker still. We have the truth version, which I'm also still missing the sticker. And then we have the real version. Um, and then we have the posters. So we have begin, uh, the poet, hope, and truth. I'm missing the real one, but I did trade with someone. It just hasn't arrived and it's been a while. So I don't know if it got lost, but um, yeah, so I'm just missing that one poster still. Hopefully it's still on the way. I don't know. Then we have their stickers from an ode. And then we have the Kino postcards from an ode. So I kept Woozy and Ming Hao and then I sold the rest in my set. Um, and then somebody was nice enough to gift me Woozy's two little cards from the uh, world tour that I didn't get to go to, so there's that. And then this is from their season's greetings from 2018, I believe, or 2019, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you got a full member set and I decided to keep everyone because it's beautiful. Um, and then you get a random unit postcard and I pulled this one and then I think every set comes with a full group card. And then next up we move into Victon and there's not a lot to show here only because I still have everything set aside. So for those who don't know, I plan to do a whole completing my Victon uh, photo card collection video and they're all in this little um, bucket for now. So when I flip through this, you're not going to see a lot, but hopefully soon we will have a video up in which I put everything away. I'm still missing a few cards, I think like three that are in the mail. So, and because of current events, I don't know when they'll come, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, so for now, we only have a few cards put away in here because I put those away before I decided I wanted to um, film a completing my collection. And I figured I might as well just keep them in there since everybody knows they're already in here. Um, so these were the ones that I pulled when I bought all of their backlist albums, <laughs> as well as Nostalgia. So yes, I collect Sungshik and Sejun for all of the previous albums, and then from Nostalgia and Continuous, I collect Hanse as well. So yeah, so here are the postcards. And then we have some special cards that go here. So this is from the pop-up shop. I do have some chicks in that little bucket I just showed. I don't know why I'm calling it a bucket. It's definitely just a container, but anyway. Um, and this is from their season's greetings from this year. Um, and then the stickers from their season's greetings this year. More stickers. And then this was their new world tour. Uh, photo cards, which I do have all of them. They will be put away soon. And then this is a little placeholder I put for continuous, which still working on that, but yeah, mail is paused. So we'll see how long that takes. And then we move on to very, very. So I do actually have a few cards to put away for here as well. I do collect uh, Gehan. He's my son. Um, and I think I have this card to put away. Let me double check. I do. So here it is. He's so cute. There's a hair on him. I apologize. So uh, yeah, let's put him away. So there is that. Get in there. So that collection is complete. This is the Very Us album. And on the back, so this is his Polaroid, but it came with a full member set, but I kept his on the front, as well as postcards. My um, wrecker is Kangmin, so I put his postcard there as well, just to fill the space. Um, and then here, do I have anything to put away for here? Maybe I do. So I have this card. I can't remember if it's DIY or regular. I feel like it's just regular. So I'm gonna put it in the first slot for now. So there is that. So yeah, I'm missing I think the DIY card as well as another um, transparent card. So there's that page. And then I have his little, I don't know what this is called, but I have that. And then I have the pre-order postcard set as well. Um, and then here we have very chill and I do have cards to put away here as well. So I have both of the cards that need to be put away here. So I think, I don't remember which one is DIY. It's one of these. Oh gosh, I'll have to double check and switch it. If not, I like to put regular first and then DIY. So I don't know. And then we have this transparent card as well, which is exciting. There we go. So I think that collection is complete now because I also have his postcard, which is exciting. And then here we have Face Me. I do need to put two fillers in there, but I also have his 
Polaroid card to put away. So yeah, I'm not really missing too much in terms of um, very, very Gehyeon cards. I think I'm just missing one, right? Let's go back and see, but yeah, and then there's the stickers. So I have all of those, have all of those, have all of, no, okay, so I'm missing two here and I'm missing, yeah, just two cards. Okay, so that's not bad. I feel like I can do that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is complete. That's the other group. Oh my God, okay, so my previous video, I was talking about another group that's a big one that I stand that's gonna be on Road to Kingdom and I couldn't remember who it was. It was very, very, <laughs> so yeah, very excited about that. Um, so yeah, that was that binder and now we can move on to the next one. Okay, so next up I have my big, binder of random groups. I figured I'd do this one next just to kind of get it out of the way because it will probably take me a while. Um, so first up here we have X1 and my bias was Sungyeon. Um, so yeah, I do have his two fan kit cards coming eventually. Again, mail is paused. So don't know when those are coming, but hopefully soon. Um, and this little Hyunjae photo strip thing was gifted to me. So thank you so much to whoever sent that to me. Um, and then we have X1's Kino postcards. Um, and I did keep Hyungjun as well because he is my son. Um, and then we had this. I think this was from whatever these two photo cards came from. Um, oops, I keep hitting the tripod. I apologize. This binder's huge, so I don't have a lot of space to work with. Um, and then we have two postcards that came with the albums. And that's it for X1. And then we move on to SF9. So I am still missing one of Zuho's cards for Osolomio. Um, I started collecting from Osolomio. I don't know if I'll go back and collect previous albums. There's not many before this, so like I'm considering it, but we'll see. So yeah, missing one there. And then my record is Jaehyun, so I got his um, circle card to put there. Might collect two more just to fill up these spaces, but I don't even know who I'd collect, so. Yeah, and then we have um, Mamma Mia. So I'm missing the bookmark, like the transparent bookmark thingy that, that will take up the, these two spots. And then um, his special edition Mamma Mia card as well. I think I have Huyang to trade for that, but yeah, it's been up for trade on my Instagram for a while and I've gotten nothing for it. So it is what it is, but um, yeah. And then we have his little cover card. And then we move on to um, Narcissus. Um, is that what the album was called though? I think so, I don't remember. Um, so anyways, I have both of his cards for that, as well as both of his special, whatever, concept cards, I think they called them. Um, and then we have RPM. So I am just missing one of his photo cards still. And then for Good Guy, um, or the first collection, I'm missing two of his cards, one for the black version and one for the gold or vice versa, I can't remember. Um, so yeah. And then next up I have his postcards. And then we move on to um, Astro. I don't know why that my brain farted anyway. So I do actually have this last MJ to put away. Somebody so graciously gifted it to me and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you so, so, so much to whoever did that. And now my MJ All Light collection is complete. My Jinjin collection is not. That needs some work. So we'll work on that in the future. Um, and then I have both of MJ's lyric books and one of Jinjin's, as well as the sticker sets and MJ's postcard. So MJ is the first bias. I collected him for All Light and I collected him for Blue Flame, but I don't think um, I will be, sorry, I, was, I meant Jinjin. I collected both MJ and Jinjin for both of those albums, but I don't think I'll be collecting Jinjin moving forward only because it's just a lot of cards and I think I need to stick to my main bias, which is MJ, so yeah. Um, so here is my MJ uh, Blue Flame collection, which is complete. Jinjin, again, needs some work. I have all of their postcards though. Actually, I lied, I don't have Jinjin's blue one. Um, so yeah, there's that. Oh, well, that was dumb of me. You can't see the blue postcard on the back. <laughs> I will fix that at a later date. Um, and then these were some cards that I got from a Jinjin cup sleeve event here in Toronto. So that was exciting. Um, and yeah, so I started collecting Astro from All Light and I probably will not go back and collect older albums. So yeah. Um, and then we have Taemin's solo 
stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm missing, I was about to say four. No, I'm missing three cards. I'm not really focused on completing this yet, but maybe soon. His postcard, and then I'm missing two cards from the repackaged version of the album. And then um, I'm missing two cards from Want. So yeah, there's a bit of work to be done here. And I think I do want to go back and collect his older albums as well. So definitely a lot of work, but I will think about it in the future. And then I'm missing one of his standees from Want as well. And then we move on to the boys. I forgot to put a divider in between, so I need to do that. I'll do that at a later date. But um, yeah, so I collected Hyunjae for Reveal. This was the first... Well, I lied. I got their Dreamlike album for Christmas, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But this is the first, like, full set of the boys' albums that I bought. This is when I really started to, like, le love them, I guess. I will not be going back and collecting older albums. But, um, yeah, so for this one, I've been collecting Hyunjae. I do have this card on the way already, so basically this collection is complete. I have a whole bunch of my music taste cards because I bought the three version set of the album from them. So got those. And then I have an extra new here because it's so cute. My friend gave it to me and I want to keep it forever. <laughs> um, and then I have Hyunjae's postcards. And then for these things, I didn't really care. I have one Hyunjae, I'm fine with that. Younghoon is um, one of my wreckers and Eric is just cool. So I don't care. Um, and then, so yes, dreamlike. So I got one of them for Christmas. I asked for the DIY version because I thought it was really cool. And um, I have Wall's card for that. And then somebody, I forget if we traded, we traded something, I cross-traded for this other Wall. And I've left these spots blank in case I do ever collect Wall's older cards. Like I said, I won't be buying the albums, but I would really like to have Wall's cards. So yeah, just kind of left them blank in case I do. Um, and then I have Wall's zine and his postcards that were gifted to me as well as a Younghoon and New postcard. This one was gifted to me, and then this one I pulled from my album. And then next up, we have Day 6. So this is um, another group that I don't collect everything for. I just kind of trade what I pull for my biases. So my bias is Wonpil, but my record is Dowoon, so I try to get a little bit of each of them. Um, so that's one side, and then there is another side and then i have both of their postcards for this album which i can't remember the name of right now <laughs> um and then i have some random bookmarks there some more postcards of theirs some more postcards of theirs and then some random transparent thingies and then i have this i don't know i think it was a pre-order gift i think it was supposed to be like a writing pad or something but it's cute um, and then we move on to the bros, or also Wusung. I put them all on the same page. I still think this is fake because I don't know what the hell that is, um, but whatever. Somebody gave it to me, so I don't really care that much, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I love that I have both of these now. I pulled this one. Somebody traded with me, I think, for this, or gifted it to me. I can't remember. Super happy because I wanted that really badly. And then here we have a card that I pulled from, was it the red album? I think, but it is up for trade for Wusung's if anybody um, has it and wants to trade. So there's that. Um, and then we have more stuff from Wusung's album. And then here we have this random EXO page. So um, I did want to collect one demon version per member and I still have to make name templates or some sort of fillers here. It wouldn't be name ones because there's six and that won't work. But anyway, so I just want one card per member. So I pulled Chen's, I bought Kai's and I just really have been neglecting the rest of them at the moment. Um, and then on this side, I just have all my other random EXO cards. Um, my bias is Shumin. My record is Baekhyun, so I tried to get a little bit of both, and I just really loved this Chanyeol card, so I kept it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's that. And then we move on to TXT, where I thought my bias was Yeonjun for a while, but I'm pretty sure it's actually Taehyun. I did collect both of them though, so um, I don't have everything for both of them, but I think I have all of Taehyun's stuff, so that worked. Um, and then I just left this blank for future comebacks. Hopefully they do some sort of selfie cards in the future, because I'm like, meh, about all this random big stuff. <laughs> um, and yeah, some extras from the album. And then I have my very minimal ITZY collection. This was from their first album. Um, my bias is Yeji, so I just kind of traded what I pulled for 
any of her cards really, but again, not collecting everything. And the same goes for Everglow. I have a couple of Mia cards back here, but again, not collecting everything. And then the same goes for this random boy group page. Um, I have a whole bunch of June here from Ace. Again, not collecting everything because it's super expensive. Um, I do have two Yesung cards from his Pink Magic album. I have one Tail from Block B's, uh, what's that album called? Montage. And then I have one Taeyang post, uh, sorry, photo card from his White Knight album. Then I just have a blank spot for whatever comes in the future. I have a whole bunch of Genius cards from his um, solo album, as well as the pre-order postcards from K-Town for You, and the sticker set. And then I have Ace's tattoo set back here, as well as some of the boys' stickers. So yeah, that's my big giant random binder. Glad I got that one out of the way because yeah, this clip alone was 10 minutes long, so that's fun. Um, so yeah, we can move on to the next one now. Okay, so next up we have my GOT7 binder. Not much has changed here, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. Um, it used to be combined with my Stray Kids binder, but my Stray Kids binder got like, or my amount of Stray Kids items just got super thick and uh, I decided to separate them. But now this binder's a little empty, so I'm thinking I can merge it with something else in the future to save space, but we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, this is the 7 for 7 album. This was when I started collecting GOT7 and I will not be going back and collecting older albums. Um, so again, at this point I collected JB, Jackson, and Bam Bam. Same goes for Eyes on You. These are cards that I haven't had for a long time and I just haven't focused on it. So maybe in the future. Um, I'm still missing Jackson's film strip. I have not had that for a long time as well. This side's complete though, so that's nice. Um, and then we move on to, what was this album called? Present You, where the photo card situation got out of hand. Um, I used to collect Jackson and Bam Bam, as you know as well, and I had started collecting them for this, but it was just way too much. So I focused on my main bias, who is JB. Um, I'm still missing one of his cards for this. Um, and then we move on, why is this here? That should not be here. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, so, yes then we have their bookmarks and some postcards and then we move on to present you and me again missing a few cards for jb oh is that why i had put that there because it was a black it was a blank background i get what i did let me pop that back in <laughs> not so much a mistake after all so um yeah so then i have this one for present you and me missing a few cards there still. I have, I have another lyric book too. I don't know where it is. That's interesting. I think I have the group and two members. I can't remember which members, but honestly don't care that much. Um, and then for spinning top, um, as you can see, I'm just missing one JB card. Some postcards. And then for you call my name, I actually just completed that collection recently with one of these two, I think. So that was exciting. And then I have a Young J card on the back that I just could not give up because it's so cute. Um, and then I have some JB postcards from the pre-order sets. And then I have um, just two, um, obviously did not focus, <laughs> pun intended. Um, I did not focus on this collection that much. So a lot of blank spaces there. Um, and then some other things from just two, as well as their concert DVD, the Eyes on You concert DVD, I pulled Bam Bam, so I just kept them. Um, and yeah, that's it for GOT7. Nothing too crazy in this binder. It is one of my smaller collections, but um, I'm super happy with it still. So yeah, we can move on to the next binder. Okay, so next up, I have my BTS binder. Um, I have one thing to put away in here as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So I did recently organize it too, I think in a in my previous or my most recent um, sorting photo cards video. Um, it was a little bit of a mess, but I have organized it. So we have a postcard here, and then we move on to oh, Are You Late Too? And I have both of um, Yoongi's cards here, or one of Yoongi's cards and then the group photo card. Um, and then I have some fillers that we will uh, be making another video out of soon. Um, then we have School Love Affair, and then we have a Dark and Wild. And then this is where my brain gets fuzzy. What comes after Dark and Wild? This is In the Mood for Love Part One, right? 
think. <laughs> and then we have part two, in which I also collect Jimin, which it, that's when, so this is why I collect Jimin here. There was two versions of the album, but they all came with the same photo card set. So I pulled two, obviously. So yeah, that's why Jimin is my wrecker. So then we have um, <laughs> Young Forever. Oh my God, I suck. So yeah, we have Yunkie's Young Forever. Um, why am I missing one though? I should have two, shouldn't I? Is this not Young Forever? This is not Young Forever, is it? Why am I so confused? What is going on? So, is it Young Forever? It is, right? Why do I only have one? I should have two. I don't know. I've made a mistake somewhere. Somebody help me. Um, so anyways, I have Wings. And then we have um, You'll Never Walk Alone, which I do want Jimin's card as well. And then we have Love Yourself Answer, which as you can see, needs some work, but Yunki hates me, so. Then we have the sticker set. We have Answer, which again, I only have two, but totally fine. I love this one a lot, so we'll work on the rest eventually. We have the standees, and then we have Answer, which is actually complete, so that's exciting. And then we have stickers. We have Persona, which is complete. I bought eight copies of this album, which is why I also have Jimin. Um, so yeah, and then I also have all of their postcards and the random film strip thing. And then for, and, or sorry, Map of the Soul 7. <laughs> Again, we're making fillers, they're coming, but I do have a card to put away. I'm pretty sure I have run out of white sleeves, so I have a piece of white paper that I'm gonna pop in there for now, and then I will run over to put him away in a proper sleeve soon. But there he is, that is Yoongi's version four card. Um, I still need, is version three. Oh, there we go. Um, and I have a J-Hope to trade for it, but just not now due to mail situations. So we have the random postcard that it came with, the sticker set. And then here we kind of have a random page. Um, once again, they used to be all on their in own individual pages, but it just takes up too much space. So we have a whole bunch of Yoongi at the top and then we have a whole bunch of RM because I tend to pull him a lot. <laughs> in dvds so uh yeah i was actually had his uh rm's version of that as well but somebody offered to trade with me which is so nice so thank you for that um and then we have some postcards from muster fourth muster i think it was we have some stickers from their dvds i think one was the soul version or these all came from the soul version and then these came from the new york and europe versions then we have the tour uh photo no Yes, tour photo cards, um, which I do not have all of Yankees yet. Um, and then we have the Army Bomb photo card set. We have stickers that I bought at the concert in Hamilton. We have um, an artist who created these. I think I, yeah, I can see the artist name. I will insert it at the bottom. But they created these for the concert in Hamilton. So I bought one as a memory. And then here we have the Japanese cards, I think. I don't have many. Um, and then we have a sticker set that I bought at the pop-up shop in Chicago, as well as my concert ticket. <laughs> is that a concert ticket? No, that is not a concert ticket. That is from when I went on the architecture boat tour in Chicago, that was fun. Um, then we have some muster cards. I had no intention of collecting these, but I saw that one and decided that I needed to. This is from their season's greetings from 2019, I believe. I did not buy their season's greetings for this year. Um, and then we have Yunki's little baby photo. Oops, there we go. And then we have some cards from that as well, postcards. And then, oh, sorry, these are Mediheal postcards from the face masks. And then we have some Puma postcards from when I went to Korea and I bought these shoes, <laughs> came with these postcards. And then I um, bought the sticker set when I was in Korea as well. And then here are some other things that I got when I was in Korea. So that was fun. Um, and yeah, that's my BTS binder. Needs some work still, but it is what it is. They're very hard to collect. So there's that. And we can move on to the next one. So next up, I have my Stray Kids binder. Um, this one's also pretty complete. I did a completing my Stray Kids photo card collection video a while ago and people still comment on that one, which is crazy. It seems to be pretty popular <laughs> for whatever reason. So thank you so much for still watching that. Um, as you can see, I have a random Hyunjin here. 
I'll talk about that, but, and then we have some stickers as well. But here we start with mixtape. I collected Changbin, Felix, and Hyunjin at the time. Um, same goes for I Am Not and for I Am Who, as well as I Am You. And then when we move, oh no, still same members for Nero. <laughs> but then once we moved into, actually I lied, let me, I'm going too fast. So yeah, collection complete for Miro. We have the transparent cards, we have the stickers, but once we got to Yellowwood, I decided I wanted to collect Lino instead of Hyunjin. Um, that's just because my bias kind of changed. I don't know, I like, I like a lot of members. Like, I really love Lino and I wanted to collect him. I also really love Jisung, so like I might want to collect him in the future as well. I don't know. It all started with this Dan Lino card though. I thought it was so cute. And then the next album, I was like, I want to collect him. So yeah, um, so there's that. And then we have like the special whatever cards from the limited album. We have all of their little pull thing cards, which I never pulled, <laughs> um, some postcards, and then I have the Levanter cards here as well. We still collected Lino at this point, and then we have all of the limited random bookmark things, which not really a bookmark, but okay. Um, and then we have some random special things, so these usually came from um, lucky envelopes and lucky boxes and things like that. I can't remember which is which. Um, I also got this one. I got my signed albums. Um, so yeah, these were from a lucky envelope or pocket or something like that. And then we have some stickers from those lucky envelopes and pockets. These were from the lucky boxes, not complete, but it was hard. <laughs> um, some stickers from the lucky boxes, some postcards from the lucky boxes. And then this is from the Stay in London photo book. I was able to trade for all of my biases and I also traded for Alino Polaroid. So there's that. And then I have Changbin's um, tour cards that my roommate so nicely gifted to me. And then back here, I think it's my three Racha poster from Levanter. So yeah, there's that. And the reason um, I have this random, what's it called? Hyunjin was because I didn't collect him for Levanter, but I loved that card so much and I couldn't give it up. So that's why he's there. Um, so yeah, that was the Stray Kids binder. And now we just have one more binder to go through. So the final binder is, you guessed it, NCT. And this is another one that is basically complete. Um, other than their new album that just dropped, Neo Zone, still working on that. But I also posted, did I post a completing my NCT collection video? I feel like I might have a long time ago, but anyway. So here we have the first album. I do collect Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny. Johnny did not exist for this comeback yet, so, or for this debut. Um, so we had Mark instead because he is my Canadian son. Um, and then we moved on to Cherry Bomb, which I collected everyone. And then um, for Limitless, we have all three of their postcards, all of these stickers. This was a weird album to store in a binder, just saying. I didn't love it. <laughs> um, and then all of these random accordion tear out things. Sticker set, somebody traded uh, and I got Taeyong. I think I had originally pulled Mark. And then we have Empathy, and because this was like a full NCT comeback at the time, I collected Taeyong, Yuta, and Johnny, obviously, but I also collected Ten, Jungwoo, and Chunla. I think going forward, if they were to do this again, I'd probably replace Jungwoo with Tail and also include Xiaojun <laughs> from Wavy. It's just a big old complicated mess, but anyway. Um, and then we have some postcards. And then we have the random Jisung page. <laughs> Then we have some diary entries. So I have one for Taeyong, I have one for Yuta, and I have one for Johnny. And then we have regular, regular. So we have their postcards here, as well as their photo cards. And then I have some of the hollow stickers from that um, era as well. Then we have everyone's card for regulate because yes, I'm crazy and I collected everyone. <laughs> um, and then we have their um, message cards from regulate. Then for regular, that's when the, sorry, superhuman, that's when the circle cards became a thing. So yeah, we have Taeyong, Johnny, and Yuta. 
and then this is where neozone is starting so the way that i'm going to do it is the n version the c version the t version photo cards and then the n c t version of the circle cards so there's that um, i have not even received my t version yet for my n and c versions i didn't pull any of my biases but i was able to trade for a few before um, everything went south. <laughs> um, and then I have the stickers for both of those versions. And then we move on to this page, which is different. So before I used to have the um, chain photo cards and the awaken photo cards on separate pages. These are from Japanese albums, but I've decided to put all Japanese albums on one page. So we have chain, awaken. And then we have some awakened Polaroids. I do want to get Johnny's and Tails for this. And then we have the photo card set from the D-Icon magazine, as well as the sticker set. And then I also have their season's greetings. I need to put a little filler in there. I think I might have one now. There we go. Perfect. So that is from the season's greetings from this year as well as the postcards, more postcards, more post. Well, these are more of the calendar cards, but those as well. And then we have my Taeyong special page. So I'll go quickly. We have, these two are from DV, well, yeah. Well, DVD, the photo book thing, Kino for Superhuman. Um, this was the fan kit thing, I think. This is from the Hollywood pop-up for Super M. This was Welcome to My Playground, a Japanese fan meet, I think. This was a um, spring party something or other, but I just thought it was beautiful. This is from the Super M um, second set of photo cards where you could pull a random member and I actually pulled Taehyung, I don't even know how. Um, and then this is from their tour bus. And then on the back I have his school um, kit cards and then a whole bunch of uh, special cards from Superhuman as well as some special cards from the um, Neo City tour. And then I also have Johnny and Yuta's bus cards as well. So these are also some special items from the Super, nope, from the Neo City tour, as well as this and this. And then this was a postcard that they were using to advertise for the tour date in Toronto. So I kept it because memories. Um, this is from the summer kit, which I never bought, but my friend gifted to me. This is from the school kit, school kit, superhuman American version, more superhuman special standy things, <laughs> postcard things. And then we move on to Dream. So for their first album, I collected everyone. Second album, I collected everyone. Third album, collected everyone, as well as Chunla's little, um, ID card, I guess. It was gifted to me. Some special things from that album as well. And then we moved on to We Boom, which had too many cards per member. <laughs> so I collected Chunla, because he is my bias. And then, yes, some more from We Boom. And then these, this is going to be my like special Chunla page. So this was the Kino, and then these were some special um, We Boom merch items. This was a sticker or holo card from we go up era i think and this is the most recent nct dream japanese card and then we have some more special we boom era things i think this was the luggage sticker pack i don't even know i don't know why i bought this <laughs> um and then we have a postcard as well as the one that came with the japanese album and then we move on to wavy so my bias in wavy is 10 but I also collect Xiao Jun. For the first album though, I think I'm only gonna collect 10. So I have his album cards as well as a special sticker or holo card. Um, and then for the second album, I collected both 10 and Xiao Jun, and I'll probably do that for the new chapter two one as well. And then back here, I kept Super M, um, which I know is not NCT, but it kind of just fit in here. So anyway, I collected T3. <laughs> so I collected Taeyong, Taemin, and 10. Um, so I have all of their cards from the Korean press, as well as all of the cards from the American. And then I have all of their tour cards as well from the first round and the second round. I know there's a European round as well, but probably not going to get those unless it's easily accessible. I don't know. 
And then this was a special pre-order gift that I got when I bought my NCT Seasons Greetings in 2019. So yeah, that was the NCT binder and that was the last one that I need to show you guys. So that is my updated photo card collection. I know it's a long video to watch, so I hope you enjoyed if you made it this far. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. An updated album collection will also be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye.